Isaiah 53, verse 11. And he shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. And that's just the first half of the verse, and they're going to the second half. But it does talk about in verse 10 how it pleased the Lord to bruise him. And this is Christ, obviously. But I want to put in the perception of us. Because I do see that sometimes it seems like we are bruised and beaten, in a sense, by the Lord a lot of times. It seems that way, doesn't it? And oftentimes, you know, there's just so many bad things out there. We want to count that as, like, the Lord's against us. But I want to say this, that the Lord is actually satisfied. It's kind of like he sees Christ in you through your suffering. Now, granted, not everybody's going to, how do I say it, are on the same level of suffering. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, if I were to cut myself with a paper and get a paper cut, I'm like, ow, that hurts. But you have a three-year-old that's never been cut by a piece of paper. They're going to whine and cry to their mom. Why? Because their level of being able to tolerate stuff is different. And so not every single person um, can go through what Christ went through. Not everybody is, has that capacity. And God knows what our capacities are that are in us. And so what may look like to one person God is satisfied with them and they may not seem like they've gone through tons and tons of stuff well they may have gone through tons and tons of stuff in the backgrounds uh, where nobody can see them but still in the sense of don't judge before it's time and what I mean by that is sometimes we don't always know what the final outcome of things are. And even in our judicial systems, you know, you're not guilty until you're proven guilty. Or you should, I should say, you're innocent until you're proven guilty. You know, you don't judge before the time. And that's kind of how the judicial system works around here, at least in America. And so oftentimes... The Lord is the one that will say things to us, and but man will not perceive it as that. You know, um, they'll say, "Well, they're smitten of God; they're worthless." They see all the afflictions that we're going through, and they may think that we're that we're under God's curse, but in reality, God is saying, it's "Like I have seen the travail of your soul." And he shall be satisfied. He's you now he's saying it's like I seen the travail of your soul. I am well pleased with you because I see my son in you. And so just because you may be going through some difficult times and different transitions in your life, don't look at some of the sufferings that you've gone through in your past as um, God cursing you, though sometimes those are judgments. I'm not getting mistaken there that sometimes it can be. But I'm also saying that, too, that God can sometimes look at the pain that you've gone through and say he is well pleased with you. You know, you may not have done tons of stuff, but you've remained faithful through that pain. That you've gone through. And so. How I put it. You may have been through that pain. And that sorrow. And many people that. Have gone through that same pain and sorrow. End up turning to. Maybe porn. Or maybe they turn to. Drugs. Or maybe they turn to alcohol. Or maybe they turn to being an abusive person. Or maybe they just start lashing out to everybody and they're so grumpy of a person. That's how they're dealing with their um, pain. And so in a sense, they're kind of medicating that pain. And sometimes the Lord's like, you've got to go through that pain. 
but he's saying, I see it, and I am well pleased with you that you have are walking through that pain in a godly manner. And I am well pleased with you. And I don't think that's often said, that sometimes we don't see it that way, but God sometimes can say, hey, I, I see it. I see your integrity, that you're trying to walk the best you can, and I know you have problems, and I know there's demons that might be pulling you in certain directions, and you, you're blaming yourself. And it's good to repent. It's not saying that's not some, nothing bad to do. But oftentimes, I, the Lord just wants to say he is satisfied, he is well pleased. He has seen your suffering, and he is willing to work with you. You know, and that's I feel that's about it. All right, so God bless you. Take care, and you know, just go to the Lord on this. He'll he'll uh, prompt you in your spirit if that is you. If he has been well pleased and well satisfied with the, um, you know, the travail of your soul. And here's the other thing. What does a woman do? Oh, yeah. A woman travails, doesn't she? Before you can give birth, you got to travail. Yes, you do, don't you? And so I think, oh, okay, Lord, I'm getting it now. So as we're travailing in the spirit and in our souls, we are actually giving birth to something that is completely great. And so after a travail, what happens when a, a woman travails and gives birth, they soon forget the pain they've gone through. Just like Joseph, he went through a great amount of travail but it gave birth to what he was called to do. And so likewise, we as Christians have to travail ourselves and through our soul sometimes to give birth to what God is birthing inside of us, not giving over to self-medication and all that stuff. But sometimes the Lord is bringing us through a process of travailing to give birth to the new man that he is trying, or woman, that he is trying to birth forth out of you. The new life. Hmm. I'm almost thinking of, uh, oh, what is that one creation? Um, that the earth, the earth is waiting for the manifest uh, of the sons of God. Or travailing or something of that nature. I can't remember the exact verse. But yeah. The earth is mourning or groaning or something to that effect. For the manifest uh, of the sons of God. And I think that's what God really wants from us. Is that travailing brings forth. You know that manifestation. Now maybe not to the degree that we're looking for or we think of or maybe something even greater than we can think of or because you know god is an awesome god and maybe just maybe to the point of the manifestness of the sons of god of whatever that's supposed to look like i don't know okay so and this is just what the lord's given me so you know take it all to the lord god bless you bye for now bye